Okay, guys, here we are. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what happened the last time with SimC, because uh, the last recording session that we had was like three weeks ago, uh, three days ago or so, so... <laughs> anyway. I vaguely recall him saying something about a battle outside of... Uh, a battle outside of Dragonstone, him killing Stannis, I think? In which case, he'll have probably like I one air or something left. Aye, Lord. Which is good news for us, really. Move out! Now eventually, when these guys' armies are recruited in two turns, we'll uh, we'll ship all of our forces over here. Actually, we might as well do that now, to be honest. Aye, my king. Aye, lord. Aye, lord. Aye. Onward, my king. Aye, lord. Aye. Forward. Aye. Join Three archer forces. units. Aye, sire. Combining the armies, sire. Aye, lord. My king. Cavalry, cavalry, Aye. and some more cavalry. Aye. Joining our forces. Aye. Aye, sire. Combining the armies, sire. One more unit of infantry. My king. Aye. Onward. My king. There you go. An army fit for a king. March. And the second army we will uh, start to king. march over pretty soon as well. But that army will join up with Rob and that can garrison somebody else's. Uh, Rob will probably take command of the army, actually, and then Cast Stark can lead the second host. So, guys, that's all for now, pretty much. Uh, I don't think we need to move our diplomats anywhere, do we? We've already got eyes on the Stormlands, as well as Edric Storm, who's the faction heir. We haven't found Renly yet. Is he in either one of these castles at all? No idea. But yeah, SimC should take Dragonstone and Driftmark pretty soon, which will wipe out the Stannis faction and allow us to focus our efforts on the Stormlands. So yeah, war is coming. Anyway, next turn. Hey everyone. Um, let's get into it. Okay. Now, what I can remember, we were besieging Dragonstone, yes. With Randall Tarly. 3-2 ratio. There's no one really important here, just a bunch of cell swords, I do believe. Yeah. I've got an order resolve. Lost 500 men. But we have captured Dragonstone now, which is awesome, and I'm going to rally up the troops, and uh, we're going to march on Driftmark, seeing that we killed Stannis Baratheon, Oris, which is uh, Stannis' father, named Oris Baratheon, Lord of Dragonstone. I don't think that's his son or any relation, just, just a random generated character, Shireen Baratheon. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave... A small army in Dragonstone. Oh, I want to move to Driftmark pretty quick. Um, obviously leave this lot. Yeah. Repair. Uh, we can't really... Oh, we can recruit. <clears throat> I think we're just going to wait. Um, yeah. Actually, I think I should just wait. Uh, there's no rush. Okay. That army's moved away because I did have the blackfish moving up a host, didn't I? Okay. Move most of these guys out. In fact, all of them, except for this lot. We'll move them into Dusk and Dale. We'll move this army over to the Rook's Crest. We'll leave this lot in Dusk and Dale. Seeing as we've already made our way there, we might as well keep him there. We've got some troops that we need to put into Rosby. We're on the recruitment for ships pretty heavily now. Um, <clears throat> I had another Admiral, so actually I had this diplomat. I mean, sorry, this merchant going over to the Silver Hills. Sorry, Casterly Rock. Uh, yeah, Silver Hills there, I do believe. Yeah. Okay, we need to find out, see how far away our navy is coming from the Iron Islands Pike. Um, wow, they're not even past Lannisport or Krakenhall. So they'll be there. <clears throat> one, 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 two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Nine, ten turns they're going to be at Storm's End. And by then we should have taken Driftmark and we have a bigger fleet. I don't think we have enough money to recruit anything else. We are recruiting heavily in the Riverlands as always. How are the Iron Islands going actually? We're doing well under the command of Jason Malister. I guess we can just go on the retrain now. So we've got a little bit of money left, so why not? We should probably should retrain the... No, we can't, anyway. We're going to put this fleet in the port. So we've got a couple of turns before more ships come. But yeah, I think that's about it. All I can do, I'm going to end my turn, and I'll see you guys soon. Okay, guys, Simpsy has dealt with Stannis and Dragonstone, and we are moving over the majority of our hosts to deal with the rest of this that crap. Uh, we're going to wait for these little units here to build. Probably one more turn. And then we'll uh, bring the troops over. Now, the plan is we move all these guys over. We'll leave those in Lannisport. We don't need to move them. That's what we can. The public order is too bad. But uh, that will give Rob his own army. And the Karl Starks their own army. And Bran can command his own army as he is now. So eventually we'll have about three and a half stacks, give or take. The three main stacks will attack the uh, Fellwood and Bronze Gate and the majority of Renly's forces, which are around here. While Simsi takes ship, uh, so they siege the Stone Dance, Tarf, um, I think it's Fair Market that's over there, Storm's End, and just generally attacks the coastline while I'm keeping Renly busy around here. Awaiting your command. Of course, sire. Yeah, I don't even think, yeah, there isn't even a place here. It's just Bronze Gate. That's uh, a different sub mod that I was making over there. But yeah, as I attack through the through the uh, Kingswood towards Fellgate, uh, Fellwood and Bronze Gate, Simpsy will attack the coastline and lay siege to the undefended castles. I say undefended. Less defended than uh, where Renly's main force appears to be. We know that the Tyrells are fighting around this general area as well. But first of all, we need to move all of our troops over, which shouldn't take too long, really. And the next turn, we'll move the troops from Castle Rock as much as we can, at least, as well. And these guys that I completely forgot about at the Crag and the Bane Fort will uh, come with me. Harold the Air is a sing of the twins. <laughs> He's been there for ages. We weren't recruiting anyone in the north, were we? No. One thing we do need to do at some point is kill Ramsay Bolton. Who I think is now the Lord of the Dreadfort because he's the only fucking Bolton left, actually. Uh, once the wars are done and over, we'll uh, march north and kill Ramsay, I think. We'll burn the Dreadfort to the ground, kind of thing. Teach our unruly bannermen a lesson. So yeah, guys, we are well on our way to moving on the Stormlands. I do believe simsy has got his uh, Iron Fleet. Or we'll call it the Fish Fleet. He's got the Fish Fleet moving around, and it's going to take him about 10 turns to reach the Stormlands. Generally, once simsy is ready to move, I'll be ready to move, so we'll uh, assault and execute the plan, which will hopefully work. So guys, next turn. Welcome back, guys, and let's get into it. Okay, I do not want to adopt anyone. Sinnings. How many? Oh, he's got two sons and a daughter. We don't really need to adopt anyone. We've got enough children. Okay, um, before I forget, let's actually go down to the Martells. Ah. Okay, let's get an alliance with them. That's what Sol uh, told me to do. Uh, he suggested, because he has an alliance with... Very demanding. Are you kidding me? To strengthen our relationship with them. Um... Okay. Really? Okay, that's not good. Uh-oh. Well, we tried to make amends with you, but you really didn't want to do it. Very demanding as well. I was just curious. I, pr I wasn't probably going to do a ceasefire. I was just curious to see... Uh, what? The proposal is. Now, so we have our merchant here. Now we're going to be getting... What? 18,000 a turn. That's awesome. Okay. Let's go over to Dragonstone. Okay. That army's actually... Ah, the air. That's the... 
Lord of Dragonstone. How can he be Lord of Dragonstone and not have it? Now, we could actually finish House Stannis if we kill both the heir and... Uh, if we kill the heir and the faction leader. Okay. Well, we do have Edmure Tully. Sorry, Brendan Tully, the Blackfish. I'm actually going to move on to this army. And we're going to disembark here. Um, I can get some reinforcements to get in Randall Tarly's army because we can't leave everyone. Can't we can't take everyone, so hang on. Damn it, Dragonstone. I guess we can leave some archers. Do we need Randall Tarly? Yeah, we do. Far out. Could Edmure take on that army by himself? Well, we do need to send some troops to Rook's rest. Um, how are we going in the Riverlands recruiting wise? We got some troops we can bring down, but not that many. Not in time, that is. Move this down to Rosby at least. We'll send Titus. Oh. Hmm. Very interesting. Um. We can't really take too many other troops out. Um. That's not too bad now, but look at that army. It's really. It's really weak. The only problem is I don't know if I can get this fleet. We can't get this fleet back. Hmm. And I've already put the blackfish there, so... I guess we can put Randall Tarly in there. Just as a bit of reinforcements. We could... Yeah, we'll put him there. Put him just behind. We'll attack. Oh. Okay. It's not going to go as as I planned. <laughs> I'm going to auto resolve it. Clear victory. Execute. Now this should kill both the air and uh, the faction leader. No, damn it! There's a new Lord of Dragonstone though. Oh well, shit happens, and we'll get relationships worsen with our Stannis. Yeah, shit happens. Okay, how far is? I'm gonna call this the Iron Fleet, even though it's not that big. That's about ten turns from zero from Merchant Trade. Mind you, we haven't ended the turn, so... 14, yeah. Um, as I was saying, the Iron Fleet is 14 turns away from the Stormlands. We are recruiting ships more. We should have a pretty big fleet by the time our armies get there. Okay. Guess we can get on the recruitment at Rosby. And we'll leave our ships there. So we can ferry over some more troops. Okay, that's all I'm going to do this turn. And I'll see you guys later. Okay guys, Simsi is taking Dragonstone and he's laying siege to Driftmark. We're going to uh, keep moving our troops over to King's Landing. Still got a decent sized force coming down from the crag and the coastline. That should give me, I don't know, almost an entirely full stack. At least this place here is now good public order. That's 100%, so... Yeah, once we get over here, Rob should, at the very least, have enough to have his own host. And we should have a majority of forces to go around and join the Martells. And um, I'm probably going to send him to Blackhaven down there. While Rob, Bran, and Carl Stark attack Felgate and Bronzegate. Uh, Felwood and Bronzegate. Now, uh, while... While, um... Simsy is uh, sieging Driftmark. 
That is not the last settlement of I'm of the Stannis faction, because if you go over sire. here, of course, sire. you can just... Well, you can't see, but... My lord. Stannis controls Tarth, so he has to sail over there anyway, so uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem. I what we will do is send this diplomat down the Griffin's Roost, just keep an eye on it, and uh, down there as well. Just Actually, yeah, send the, di the diplomat down to Blackhaven just to keep an eye on what the Tyrells are up to. I know they are indeed attacking around this general area where you can see all the war marks and everything. So yeah, once they, once those guys there group up with the forces from Castle Rock, we will uh, we'll move out to the second host and join it with Rob. So that's all for now. Next turn. Welcome back, guys. Uh, let's get into it. Okay. Now I think I'm actually I'm going to try again to get an alliance with the the Martyrs. We left off on a sour note last time, so I'm going to give them alliance. I'm going to offer military access. And map information, and I'm going to give them a payment of say a thousand. Oh, so a thousand. See if that changes anything. Demanding. It doesn't change the map information for anything. Um, we'll make another payment of two thousand. Because I'm being a little bit scumbaggy, I'm going to go fifteen hundred. <laughs> Rejected. God. Okay. I'm going to go 2,000. Far <laughs> they're not interested. They want nothing of it. <laughs> oh, well. Um, the only problem is that if the Tyrells attack them, or... Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how that develops. Okay. We are, from what I can remember, we're besieging Driftmark. <laughs> sure, we'll smash him. No even need to fight that army. Rally up. Oh, it was a mission successful. Okay. I didn't even read it. Okay, we'll move Randall Tarly there. We'll get him to attack. Finish off the last of the no raining troops on Driftmark. And uh, we'll rally up. Where these fleet? We'll move this army back to Dragonstone for retraining. Randall Tyler, how much that cost? 500. Oh, we can actually recruit cell swords from uh, Dragonstone. That's cool. We'll get on that then. Uh, Can't really retrain it on apart from that 52 lot. But I think I might actually move this army out. Um, because there's an army here that isn't, like, got very many knights, so. Made it a little bit better. Um, I guess we could put some archers in there. Um, yeah. Come on. There we go. That makes it a lot better. Uh, oh, they're the Lord of Light, aren't they? God damn it. We have to build a chapel there. Bloody hell, Stannis. Let me guess, it's here at Driftmark. That's probably... Did they, is it a... Oh, it's not that bad. At, uh. Okay. Um, so, hmm. Now that I've done that, we can't move Randall... T oh, actually, yeah, we, we should be able to. We can get a... Sh no, we can't, can't get a ship there. We can't move them. So we could even just put them back in. Dragonstone. <sighs> Wasn't even a point of bringing them over. Uh, we'll move them out. <laughs> uh. Hang on. What? I didn't mean to auto-save, but you know... I've got a new keyboard, by the way, guys, if you can kind of tell uh, if it sounds a little bit different. But I'm still getting used to it, because I've only had it for about a day, <laughs> a day and a bit. So I keep on, like, hitting the wrong keys like a derp. Um, okay, that army's getting to Rosby. Uh, 
Is our merchant working? No, what is that? Maybe because there's another merchant up there. Hmm. Oh well. Okay. That's pretty much all we can do. Here. Okay. We're gonna need a better quality. We've got a full stack of King's Landing. Um, we probably can take some of these best, some of the better troops out. I mean, we can put spearmen in instead of knights and swordsmen, but that's how I'm probably going to leave in King's Landing when we move on the uh, House Renly because there's a fair few armies here. Look at that. There was two stacks there, and there's two, mm. but Sol has a a lot of armies, which is good. So we're going to be moving down there once my fleet is ready and we're all retrained and ready to go. So we'll be doing that soon. Okay, I'm going to end it here and I'll see you guys later. Okay guys, Simsy has taken Driftmark I believe and the only Stannis fortification left will be at Tarth. So that's uh, quite far out of our way. We might even be lucky enough that he attacks the Stormlands and keeps Renly's forces busy for us. But yeah, we are Aye, almost ready to move out Aye, our forces. We just need to uh, Aye. Aye, Lord. rally everyone that we have. Keep a decent sized force left in Castle Rock. Finding the armies, sire. I say decent. <laughs> Aye, sire. Aye, lord. For a normal taxation there, but that's an entire another host that we can have. So the Carl Starks can have uh, two of their own hosts eventually. How long is it going to take them to get to Rob? My king. Three turns for that guy, and so many turns Aye, for him. We march no further today. We march no further today. One, two, we three, four, no five, today. and six. So about six turns, maybe maybe like a maximum of uh, eight or so turns to get all of our troops ready for Simsy to be ready as well. Well, that's two armies on the way, so one of them's going to have Rob under their command, and uh, another can have the Karstark, so each of my generals can have their own armies. We'll have uh, four full hosts attacking at the Stormlands at the same time. So yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, we were moving this diplomat over to Griffin's Roost, weren't we? Uh, Blackhaven, to keep an eye on the... Uh, to keep, just to keep an eye on what, see what Terrell's doing, really. Uh, Simsy tried to get an alliance with the Martells, but uh, they don't like him very much. The reason for that is, as you'll see, my reputation is very trustworthy, because I haven't been executing my uh, prisoners of war. But if we go to Tully, Simsy's reputation is mixed... TMT hot seat message. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> First hot seat we've ever done, so there you go. But, uh, yeah, his reputation is mixed because he's been occasionally, like, executing Lannisters. Killing Lannisters. How can that be treason, eh? But there you go. Shut up, Carl Stark. I'll deal with you at dawn, you little bastard. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, I've told him to be a bit more lenient with uh, the Stormlords when it comes to the assault so that he gets a bit uh, better reputation and then the Martells might be inclined to trust him a little bit more. Because if it comes to all-out war with the Tyrells and the Martells, then we are going to be picking Dawn. Because uh, Bran is, after all, married to him, uh, married to the Martell girl. Who already has a daughter, actually. Rickon Stark's almost of age as well. So he can come down south eventually and help out. So yeah, that's all for now. Next turn. Hey, guys. Uh, let's get into it. Ah, oh, Holman Tully. Well... <laughs> Long lost son, much? No, thank you. Uh, Sellsword go Guild at Riveron. Okay. No, we've got one at Dragonstone. We don't really need it. Okay, Salt Pans isn't very happy. Military. Uh, yeah, production tower. I thought we had the strongest military for a sec. I was like, what? We can put down the taxes a bit. God. Um, we can move these lot of. Uh, Riverland archers. On their way to Rosby, along with this slot. <laughs> we'll get recruiting back at the Riverlands, because General's body. We don't really need any generals, we're already pretty well right with them. We do need more cavalry, though. Probably might put some more money into cavalry than anything. That's what we're lacking. No, fuck it, we'll just go with them. Okay, um. 
We do have a lot more ships now, which is good. We're going to take the best troops out of Dragonstone and Driftmark, and we're going to rally back up at uh, Rosby. So, they're the cell swords. And we'll put them back. Um, take most of the archers out. There's no need of having that many in Dragonstone. Okay, we'll move out. They're just a little bit unhappy because of the Lord of Light, Stannis' uh, religion he was preaching, so... Oh, we can't... Oh, yeah, we can take... We'll take Edmure, yeah. But we might need to leave uh, a ship behind. Okay. And we'll put a lot of cavalry in. We'll disembark just here. And we'll head to Rosby. Because this is where we're going to be rallying up the fleet. Um, there's a couple of troops we can take out of Driftmark. Probably that lot of bowmen. And I'll put them... You can put them in. Okay. There is the fleet. It's getting there, which is really good. Got no money really to spend. But we'll move this army down. Uh, we'll get... We'll have enough... I want to have Edmure, the Blackfish, and Tali to have a full stack each. We're not building a... Probably want to build a, a chapel there before um, I buy more units. So I'll just quickly unmake that Riverland Swordsman in... Yeah, in Riveron. So we'll just put that there just in case. It's probably better. Um, okay. Simply just doing cr uh, unit movement. Where's my fleet? Ah, oh, it's just out of Old Town. Okay. Everywhere else is looking good. Okay, I'm going to end it here, and I'm going to give it back to Sol. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, House of Stannis is uh, trying to sue for peace. Is it worth it? Meh, sure. Saves him sieging my lands, I guess. We look forward to our next meeting. Ooh, the Tyrells have uh, shown their face. Happily, sire. And are sieging forward with a considerably large force. Although the force does consist of rather shit troops compared to the Stormlands militia, so whether or not the Tyrells will be able to take forward is questionable, at least. We will continue to move our troops. Which will take about roughly eight turns to get all the way over there and uh, rally everybody. Just gonna keep that on low tax for now. Just to keep everyone happy. <sighs> um, what's going on with the mod cells? Still not with at war with anybody. Who are we gonna give this army to? We'll sort that out when they get here, I guess. Uh, eventually, Cast Stark and. Both of the cast Starks and Rob will have their own army. So we'll have four full stacks and hosts heading towards the Ray Stormlands. If the Trolls take Fellwood, uh, we may have to change our plans a little bit. Well, not really. My main focus is going to be assaulting the Stormlands while Simpsy uh, goes around the coastline and wipes them out that way. If the Trolls are there to help me, all the better, really. So, guys, that's all for now. Next turn. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Um, okay, let's get into it. Now, if I'm not mistaken... Oh, I don't want to talk to you, Sansa Stark. Yes, the Tyrells have... are actually besieging Felwood, so... We need to start getting preparations for the attack on the Stormlords. Okay. Okay. 
I think that's what we're going to do now at the moment. Um, retrain some troops. We could even recruit some more uh, cell sword spearmen. Yeah, they're not really that good. Free riders. If we're going to recruit, we're going to have to recruit at either River Run or Harren Hall, I reckon. That's what we're going to do. Okay, now this is going to take a little while, but we're going to need to rally up the troops and divide ships and stuff together. So I'm basically going to do it at Rosby. Okay, so we're going to have the Blackfish, and we'll have, okay. We'll have this army. Hmm. Fuck. We'll take all the good units out. Okay. I'm going to get Edmure to command it. I could... Hmm. Who's the better... I don't know whether should I take the blackfish. No, no I'm going to take the blackfish down. Um, okay. Now we're going to get... Kind of move the blackfish away. This is going to be the blackfish's army. So we're going to move the rest of our troops into there. So we'll take out those archers and put them in. Okay. That's two armies done and ready to go. But I'm actually going to move the... I'm going to put Titus Blackwood in the command of King's Landing. Which we can't actually do yet. Okay. We're going to move the fleet around. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to put Ed Muir on this army, and we're going to head that way. Because I'm not, I'm kind of not confident to split it up and put two armies on it, because it's still pretty big, because I'm pretty sure Stannis is still, yeah, he's still alive, and he does have a pretty big fleet, so we're going to be attacking the Stormlands, I probably want to have all my ships with me. Okay, so this is, once this, yeah, okay. There's a lot of archers in this. Oh shit, I totally forgot about this army in here. Oh, better, these guys. We'll put this full lot in King's Landing then. They can't quite get there though. Okay, I guess the remaining kind of militia units, not really great ones, we'll just have a round, just, we'll take, we'll get Randall Tarly to command them, but they're not going to be used for too much, they're just going to be, uh, essentially just for garrisoning stuff, okay, there's a lot of cavalry in there actually, so that's one army, and that's the other, and we'll just put Randall Tarly in the command with the spear, movement, spear militia. So once I take a settlement, I can put Randall Tarly in there, he can defend it, we can move on. Okay. Do we have troops to move? Not really. Okay. Well, I'm going to end it here, and I'm going to give it back to Sol. So I'll see you guys very shortly.